Hey guys, how's it going? It's Clary Berry and we're here today to talk about Bitcoin. Now we have Capricorn, which is going to be right at home here in the sun sign of Virgo, which is starting on the 23rd. Um, so we definitely have some energy shifts, some change as we spoke about in the general video, but we're going to get into this for Bitcoin and see what's going to happen for these next few days and possibly beyond. So yeah. Capricorn, no stranger to that, you know, time for work, time for working with the new information. I love that we get the star because this is really about the mental, about that spark, those things that we've been learning. Now we're going to have the opportunity to make them a reality here, to change them to, you know, and it's, it's a kind of a matter of staying hyped up and getting emotionally into something, um, as we work with it physically. So We'll talk about that more in just a second, but I do want to talk about on the 22nd, we have, um, the peak of Mercury sets with quadrant needle Mercury. So, you know, we've been talking about these mental, it's been huge with, with, um, well with Mercury and Virgo and all this other stuff. Um, but you know, there, we've also been battling some issues with the mental and on the 22nd here, um, yeah, there's almost like an immaturity here, like a, like a lack of planning, a scatterbrain, we still could be good here. Um, this card is looking pretty good for me, even though it might be a little peak. I think we might have a little, a little peak. Um, oh wait, I got to take all of this into consideration too. Um, this is one aspect that we're looking at a lot of energy on the 22nd, including our full moon, which we have already talked about in the last video. Um, so yeah, this looks like despite the scatterbrainness, despite the possible communication issues, possible miscommunication, um, people trying to act like, oh, you know, Bitcoin ain't no thing. Um, despite that, I think we're still going to be going straight up here is what, it, and it's still, you know, this is, this is very exciting. There is like a naive, you know, we may be having a lot of newbies coming into the space and yeah, I think it's going to be a big boom here. I really do. The 22nd is going to look good. And if not the 22nd, the 22nd is a Sunday. We don't usually peak on a Sunday, but, um, we were doing well last night. Honestly, I haven't even checked the charts this morning when I woke up. It is, um, only 717 on the 22nd here. So yeah, um, uh, we'll see what happens today, but I, I think it should be a really good day, even though it is a Sunday. We also have the peak of Venus as quadrant needle Neptune. Um, which, you know, it can have some of that up and down. Oh, page again, again, Bitcoin just getting started. Don't think that, you know, okay. It may be a little bit smaller than we've hoped this peak, you know, we're right at 50 K we're looking at arbitrary numbers. Um, but it's like, don't underestimate even the little, the little peaks and the little pumps on, on this day, the little gains. Um, cause I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna take off. We still have, uh, we have the peak of, uh, sun in conjunct natal Jupiter at this time too. So I think there might be a little bit of confusion, a little bit of like up and down. I swear all of these are about the 22nd. Um, but ultimately, yeah, people's intuition pulling them in. People are receptive to those thoughts and, and to the knowledge that, you know, normally isn't out there. People have talked to their friends. They've been communicating so much and now they're like, you know what? I just got a good feeling. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So I think the price is going to be going, um, really, really pretty good. Um, and there are, we do have the end of Venus, uh, trine natal Mercury, which was kind of a relaxed time off. So I think again, really Bitcoin is only getting started here on the 22nd. Um, the 23rd, we have the start of Venus sesquiquadrant natal Venus. So that might be a little bit sideways on that day. Okay. And that, again, that's just the start of it though. This is kind of like maybe a slowdown aspect, um, peaking, I think around the 28th, same with, uh, this, we also have on the 23rd, um, the start of sun trine natal Mars. And this could be a real standout. Okay. This could be, it's kind of, you see how it's kind of altering, um, energies there. They might level each other off. People are still having realizations, getting into the higher learning of Bitcoin. What's it really about? You know, and there, it's funny that we pull this card because I was thinking about dogma, I think in the general uh, video when I did a little bit of meditation about that. So there's people that are getting real, you know, it's like, it's almost like don't get too dogmatic with this um, or too, 
oh, I know what's going to happen. You know, this is going to happen. This is what always happens. It's like, look at the past, use the, the mental, use your, your knowledge. Cause we're still working with those. But again, there's some kind of realizations, um, realizing maybe that we're not going to crash and burn, even if we don't, you know, something ABC doesn't happen, uh, or, or whatever, you know, realizing that, oh, you know, whatever it is, it's the old beliefs crashing down. And then what are we left with? We're left with something new. And again, this adds to this theme through these cards that's coming through of this reset of this rebuild, restart, um, after this full moon. So even though, again, I think the full moon is going to be big, booming, it's going to be good. We have to realize if you scale back, it's still only a little blip, you know, and we can go so much further from there. I really feel like, you know, people get scared of the tower. It can be drama. Um, it can be excitement, you know, um, and that could just be this, uh, sunshine needle Mars. Um, it's, it, there's just standout energy. So on the 24th, we have Mercury, the peak of Mercury opposite natal Uranus. I was looking for my Uranus. This Uranus, guys, maybe on the 24th here more, there's a nervous, like, antsy, spastic, sporadic, like, just energy, like, oh my gosh, you know, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, like, what's going to happen? Um, the mental energy is a little bit, again, kind of spastic. And again, this can, it, it ties into the theme from, we talked about before, um, the peak that we had of Mercury, Cecil Quadrant Needle Mercury, a little bit of scatterbrainness there. So even for this whole week, we have some of this nervous energy. It's kind of like, it's very exciting. And if you guys have ever seen or been around a, like an electrical storm where it's like, it's like a thunderstorm, but it's not like the full on like raining. It's like one of the electrical storms where it's in the sky, you can see the, um, the lightning. And a lot of times in those, the lightning doesn't just come like this one, like boom. And then it, it waits, you know, a little while it just keeps going in the background. You can't even see the, you know, the actual like lightning bolts, but it just keeps going off, keeps going off. And that is literally, I, I have chills right now. That is the, um, energy that is, that is really peaking here on the 24th where it's like a lot still going on in our minds, a lot still going on. And it's again, this kind of nervous, like stormy, um, you know, like I don't want to say calm before the storm, but it seems like the, that lightning might be, you know, before the storm. And there's an intuitive aspect because this is Mercury opposite Uranus. This could be really big. We might have some a good day here on the 24th as well, especially when you combine it with the fact that we have Sun trine natal Pluto, which again has, we've been talking about this for a while in, in numerous different aspects. Anything that's going on, anything we've been through, we're able to use it to, um, you know, really deepen that understanding and to, to deepen that growth. You know, what, what hasn't killed us has absolutely made us stronger. What we've been through, all these kind of troubles that we've been through, even that we will may go through, you know, are really going to help us get to that deeper understanding. Um, so that's huge. Um, now on the 25th, we have the start of Mars in conjunct natal Neptune. Not a huge aspect in itself, but I definitely think that, you know, that might be one of those days where we're just waiting. We're just waiting to start getting busy again. You know, we've also got Mercury, um, conjunct natal Saturn, which is kind of that cautious. We're planning, you know, we're definitely planning on getting back into things, but maybe the 20, you know, fifth of there is not so great. Might be a little bit sideways. Um, but again, usually just to, just to kind of peek, at a later time, saving up that energy to make another move. So um, it's an energy where on the 25th, we have like sun um, in conjunct natal Mercury. And this is that communication that has been so active. We're, we're very mentally sharp, but um, there's this energy for conflict and a lot of debates. It's like debating energy on the 25th. So again, might be kind of up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, some maybe, um, well, it's a good thing that we actually, we're going to be, I think, having some less of the confusion, less of some of these repressed issues that we've been having for a while now with um, Venus Square, Natal Mars, which is ending on the 25th as well. So 
really, again, I think we're just kind of gearing up because we do have some really good energy coming towards the 27th, 28th. The 30th is all really good energy. This was in reverse. I think this is, um, you know, saying that, you know, we're still having these awakening. I mean, this is all the end of the week, guys. I, 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 good time to buy. Probably going to be a good time to buy. Of course, we're buying those dips and buy the dips before the 27th, you know, 28th, 29th. Um, because that's going to be, I think, another good time. And I don't necessarily think the price is going to be super high, especially after what it's going to do at the beginning of the week here. So that is my predictions. 22nd, 23rd, pretty good. 24th is going to be uh, pretty good, uh, real good. In fact, um, those, those are good days. 25, 26, you know, maybe tapering off. Again, get ready for the 27th, 28th, 29th. So that is, that's it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for being here. Thanks for all the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, etc. You can find me all over social media. I am Clary Berry on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, all the good stuff. And yeah, that's all for now. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.